Welcome back to another e-filing training where we give you helpful tips on basic document preparation and also answer some of our more common e-filing questions. I'm Chris with Green Filing and for this episode we are going to talk about how to bookmark your exhibits. But before we begin, I would like to point out that I am not an attorney and the information I am providing here is not legal advice nor is it intended to be. Please always check your local court rules, general orders, or FAQs regarding specific e-filing guidelines as they may vary. For our viewers watching this training on our YouTube channel, this episode's training also has step-by-step -step written instructions on our help site efilinghelp.com and I have placed a link for you in the description below. Many courts require filers to bookmark PDFs for any document that contains an index, including appendices and exhibits. The index should include an electronic bookmark from each descriptive document title to the first page of the corresponding document in the appendix or exhibits. If a user needs to submit these exhibits in a multi-part electronic file, each separate file should have a table or index stating the contents of that file. For today's example, I have a sample complaint opened up and I have three exhibits on the subsequent pages. In this example, we will be using Adobe Acrobat DC as that is the course preferred document editor. Once you have opened up your PDF, you may click File at the top, then Show Hide, then Navigation Panes, and then Bookmarks. This will open up your Bookmarks menu on the left side. Scroll to the first page you want your bookmark, then click on a spot where you would want that bookmark to be located. I prefer to start on page one of your document and at the very upper left click there. Once you do, scroll back to the left menu and click the bookmark plus sign and it will set a bookmark at that spot you have clicked in your document. And since this is complaint, that's what I'll type for page one. You may now scroll to any subsequent page where you want your bookmark to be. So in the pager section in the middle, scroll through and you'll see on page four is my first exhibit. So I am clicking right before the letter E in the exhibit one title. Then I go back to the left menu, click the plus sign and then type exhibit one. You can now click in the left panel the word complaint and it will go to the spot that you marked in your complaint and then click exhibit one and it will then scroll to exhibit one. You know that you have now set the first two bookmarks correctly. Feel free to then scroll to your subsequent pages and repeat the process for where you want to put those other bookmarks. So I now have the first page and three subsequent pages bookmarked for this document. At this point you are actually done if you wish and you can go to the top file and save or save as if you want to do a separate PDF for that. Now let's say that you want to edit a bookmark destination. Maybe you've goofed or maybe you want it to start in a separate panel. Highlight the particular bookmark that you're looking to edit. In this case we'll edit Exhibit 2. Highlight the portion or place your cursor at the beginning of the spot where you want to move your bookmark to. So in this example, I'm going to do the first three words of the exhibit. In the left menu for Exhibit 2, right-click on it and you will see an option to set destination. This 
Adobe will then ask you if you want to select that destination to send your current bookmark to, and you select yes. And it is now set there. Now, because our new bookmark is so close to the old one, you do not notice any sort of change, but it has been updated. Now let's say for some reason you want to reorder the bookmarks. You may, in the left menu, grab one and then drag it to a new position. So if you click Exhibit 1, it'll go to 1. Click Exhibit 3, it'll go to the very last page where Exhibit 3 is. And so forth. You may rename your bookmark by double clicking on it and editing the name as you wish. You may also delete a bookmark by highlighting it and clicking the little trash can link here. You can then re-add as you need by highlighting whatever it is you wish to now bookmark again. If you wish to keep your names the same, double click and re-edit to format it to your tastes. You now have a properly bookmarked document and you can save it for filing later. Well, that is it for today's episode. You may find more helpful tips on our YouTube channel or visit our support site over at efilinghelp.com. Until our next installment, have a great day and thank you for watching.